Hello guys, what is up? This is Glad to Go, and welcome to Random Wonder Trades. So, if you're wondering why these people are in my box and whatnot, these were the Pokemon that I used in the Pokemon X and Y Wonder Cup that went up on Rizbowski's channel on Saturday. If you guys want to go check that out, it's on his channel, Rizbowski. He's awesome, and uh, yeah, I'm not going to tell you what happens exactly, but here are the Pokemon that I'm actually going to trade back, because why the hell not? They're not the best Pokemon, so if you want to know who wins, you got to go check it out. It was actually a great battle, I think. Who knows, but you got to go check it out. So um, anyways, today I'm going to be making a bit of a longer video and whatnot, and um, basically, you guys already know, I've been gone throughout the weekend at PAX East. If you guys don't know what PAX East is, it's a convention that happens once a year in Boston. It also happens during the summer in Seattle, Washington. Uh, there's also one in Australia, PAX Australia. And um, they actually announced on the second day of PAX that there's going to be a PAX South in January in San Antonio, Texas. Now, if I, I don't know if I'm going to go to the one in San Antonio, Texas, nor the one in Seattle, because they're not around where I live, and I do not want to take a freaking plane there. I don't have the money, I don't have the time, but maybe in the future we may. Who knows? Um, if if like pe enough people want to go, that I know, what, like, why the hell not? But anyways, um, yeah. So you guys already know it was a convention. Tons of YouTubers went. The King Nappy, Shady Penguin, um, you know, you know, PK Sparks. Tons and tons of people went. Chica Conroy, the rest of the Runaway guys, and you know, I got to meet a lot and a lot of people, and it was really, really cool. Um, I'm not, I don't really know them too well. I don't really know the other PokeTubers in the Poke community, um, but. You know, Shofu went, uh, Num Nexus went, you know, so many people went, and it was really, really exciting, because, you know, I never really thought I'd meet, like, that many people, but I really did get to meet a lot and a lot of people, and it was very, very just, it, it was a really good experience, honestly, having to go to Boston, um, getting to meet my internet friends, getting to meet people that I thought I'd never meet in the first place, you know, having to see these competitions live, rooming with people, um, the people who I actually did room with in the Hilton Hotel, um, it was Skyward Wing, aka Noel, Biddy Plays, aka Dylan, um, Giant Air 46, aka Robert, uh, Ningamero09, aka Mikey, uh, Ethan, aka Electro Ethan, and myself. So, I know you guys probably don't even know who those people are, but they are really, really fun to room with, um, you know, it was very crowded in the room, but we, we made things happen, I slept on the floor, I sacrificed my body for them, so, you know, I, I don't know, I, I don't really need beds, even though my back is like a freaking 80 year old's back, it was still fun though, um, not gonna really gonna complain, and, yeah, it was just like, it's just so awesome, like, so many things were learned from the experience. I went on, you know, we had to go on taxis, we had to go on these things, that's those things, you know. On the uh, first night, I went to um, a Boston Celtics game with Robert. It was uh, the Celtics versus the Bobcats. I know, that's a really, really stupid sounding game, but it was actually a really fun game. It was really close. The crowd was so into it, even though the Celtics aren't even good this year. And it was just really, really cool and exciting. After the game, though, um... A black taxi cab, that's not even, it even looked like a black taxi cab, it was like a fucking shitty ass, like, vehicle. They said, hey, taxi, you wanna ride? I'm like, sure, why the hell not, we kinda do need a taxi back, and none of the taxis were open, so. We got into the cab, and it was, it was actually really shady. It was, like, really, really shady. Like, the taxi driver was, you know, just chilling, he had, like, jazz on, like, jazz music. And he was like, you know, so, um, are you guys, you know you know, why are you in Boston? And he's like, oh, yeah, so we're here for, like, a convention. He's like, oh, so you're here for, like, a convention, eh? And, like, you know, he's just trying to make a conversation with us. I'm like, so how much is this going to be? He's like, yeah, I have a meter going on. Because you know how taxi drivers have meters, right? Well, I don't even think he had a meter. I think he was just bullshitting with us. Because once we got to the hotel, he said $52 for the drive, for the ride. Now, I fucking doubt that the ride would cost $52. That is absurd, because we took a taxi from our hotel to, to Radio Shack to the stadium for like $18. So we went to two places in one taxi ride for $18. So then we take the we take a ride from the station. I mean no, not from the um from the freaking game, the stadium 
to uh, the hotel and it's out of nowhere like crazy really really high amounts it's like okay when the hell did that happen I don't get it but you know just don't trust those shady ass taxi vans that aren't even they don't even see taxi on them because um, you know those people are full of shit you gotta make sure you know what the price is before you go on those uh, vehicles you gotta know you gotta make sure that you can see the meter because they don't even have a meter like you get, if they're gonna say yeah I have a meter going on you gotta be like, okay, where the fuck is the meter? I want to know where the meter is. I want to know how much I'm getting. I don't know. I want to know how much you know is being added as we get a fucking magic carp. And uh, you know, it was just really, really stupid. And I really wanted to just punch the guy in the face because that was complete bullshit. I didn't really want to start any drama, but I was kind of tempted to just run out of the vehicle and just go into the hotel, even though you know they probably call security and whatever. But um, yeah, make sure to actually take normal taxi cabs instead of black vans, because well, there's a huge difference, and them one can fuck you over, and one can actually be honest of how much the price really is. Because you gotta be aware that there are tons of people want to rip you off every single time that you ride one of those taxis, and it's just, it's really just pathetic how some people are like that. But you gotta be aware of it. It's in New York City. It's in Boston. Just you know, it's probably in big cities and. Whenever all the taxi cabs are kind of taken already, those vans come out of nowhere and be like, okay, you want to ride? You know, and then they just start overpricing you and everything. Now, for Boston in general, um, it's my first time going to Boston. It was my first time um, you know, doing anything there. Um, I don't really get out of like, New York very often, which is where I live. And um, yeah, we got to Boston. And um, I don't know. From what I've seen, it was really, really nice there. It was, you know, no pollution, no littering, really. Um, people were really nice there. Um, lots of Boston pride. That's what I like to see. Like, lots of people having actually pride in their state compared to New York where, I don't know, I see people with pride, but they don't they don't show it very well. They show it in a very gloatful manner. In Boston, people, are like, you know, legitimately have, like, just, I don't know, like, their attitude is a lot nicer, I like that, and, you know, just, it's, it's very nice, honestly, I really liked it there, it was, you know, I go back, I'd, I'd rather live there, honestly, aside from everything being overpriced, it was so nice, and so beautiful there, it was amazing, and the hotel was very nice, um, you know, just, the, the one complaint I have was being overpriced, and how no, no place was nearby the, um, the hotel, and, if we wanted to walk anywhere from the hotel, we can't really walk anywhere because there's no sidewalks uh, where the tunnels are, and you'd have to like fucking go like swimming in a fucking ocean if you want to get to like the places that we wanted to go to. So we're kind of you're kind of forced to drive places. You're kind of forced to take tons and tons of buses if you don't have a vehicle and stuff like that if you want to get away. If you want to get like you know outside of where the hotel was. But aside from that, you know, it was just lots and lots of fun, uh, really nice, and really just, I loved it there. I really, I, I really am upset to be back. Um, the roommates, you know, everybody that I met, they're all amazing. I miss them so much. Um, they kept me company. They kept me, like, just, you know, wanting to chill. Like, they just liked it so much, and I really, really miss it. I really, really miss it. It's been a day, and... You know, just after I, you know, after we all split apart, it was just so, like, depressing. Like, I felt like, fuck, man. Now I'm on my own again, and there's really nothing to do. But, um, you know, once I got home, I had to go out right away. And I freaking slept until 1 p.m. today. I was so tired that, like, I just died to, I just died of sleep, honestly. Because once I come, because I came home around, like, 12.30 last night, I had to unpack everything. Then I got on Skype, talked with Sin for, like, 20 minutes. Then I told him, dude, I, I gotta go to sleep. I'm, I'm dead. And he's like, okay, bye. And so... Then I passed out once I like hung up the Skype call on my phone and just like woke up like at one thirty, being like, "Oh my god, I haven't slept this long since like years ago." <laughs> it was actually really nice to just sleep in like that. It was like just like very refreshing. And after like being sleep deprived since Thursday, it was really nice to get some sleep. And I really do apologize for not getting any videos out for you guys throughout the weekend. It's just been a vacation for me, and um, you know I'm gonna get right back on that grind very soon. If you guys do want to vote for, um, you know, what the type is for the amount of tip that I'm going to be doing very soon, I'm going to make a straw poll for that in the description below. Plus, I'm going to make a video tomorrow about it, just to remind you all to vote for it. It's going to be a one-day thing starting tomorrow, so technically two days if I'm really editing it over here. But, um, yeah, so if you guys want to pretty much vote for that, it's in the description below. By the time you're watching this, um, 
it may you know already be expired but who knows um, just talking for those who pretty much stock their subscriptions wanting to see a video from anyone but yeah um, please go vote for that I really appreciate it you guys were amazing with your voting for you know wanting to see what I want to do and yeah monotype did win which is very ironic to me. I really thought that a Wonderlock would win because of how much you guys wanted another Wonderlock or a Wedlock or, you know, anything other than a Monotype. Just, seriously? You guys really like the Monotype that much? I didn't know people like Monotypes that much. And, you know, I'm, re I'm making um, pretty unique types. I'm really hoping that, you know, a unique type would win aside from just water or fire or something like that. Even though I really do like those types, it's kind of boring to see tons and tons of the same monotypes being electric or monotype or like water or just fire or whatever. But yeah, I, I really do apologize for not uploading anything really. I hope you guys do understand. Um, you know, whenever I'm out uploading, be sure to check out the other people on the Fat Five. They upload tons and tons every single day, and their quality is, if not better, than mine. So you guys gotta really go subscribe to the Fat Five and the Home on Fat Five channel. Yes, that was made. Um, the promo video came out on my channel on Saturday. I scheduled it, and the hype is real. It really, really is real, and I really, really, really cannot wait for that channel to start up very soon. But the next promo is coming out this Saturday, so stay hype, guys. And, um, yeah, really, just this weekend was amazing. Um, I tweeted out so many pictures, Instagram photos, all this and all that. So if you guys go, do want to see updates and, um, you know, pictures and all that stuff that I posted, go ahead and check out my Instagram and Twitter. I have linked, I just put everything up on there. And, you know, it was just so, so awesome. And I really hope all of you guys can come next year to PAX East. I don't care if you don't live nearby Boston. I don't live nearby Boston either, even though I live in New York. I don't give a shit, though. Just It was so amazing, and I really, really wish I was able to meet a lot of you guys. I was not able to meet many people at all, and if I did meet anybody, they didn't really know who I was because I don't show my face very often, and um, I guess they didn't really recognize me. So, yeah, um, I'm going to be trading a uh, shiny girl to end up this part. A bit longer than you know normal. I normally I make it you know less than probably nine minutes or something like that. But I had so much to talk about this episode, and um, there's so much more to talk about in the other episodes. So um, stay tuned. I mean, there's a lot more to be talked about in the next random wonder treats episode. So um, fun stuff, and we didn't really get too many cool Pokemon. But hey, we got Carvana. We got like some other Pokemon too. And over here, a shiny Growth is going to go to a very, very happy person, hopefully. A person that will take good care of this little doggy. And, um, yeah, if, if, if Wonder Trades can kind of cooperate, that'd be very nice. But aside from that, um, you know, thank you all so much for the support. Um, it's been real. I'm almost at like 11,000, which is absolutely crazy since I just reached 10,000. And I really cannot thank you all enough, as usual. And... It's been really a blast, and uh, as if you guys are wondering, the Pokemon Black and White Egglock is going to be coming very, very soon to a channel near you. Uh, I just need the layout that Josh is still making, and I did, I do have now a new banner, so if you guys want to go check out that new banner and tell me how it looks, let me know, because it's amazing. It was made by Josh, aka The Fortune Gamer, and um, yeah, this pumpkin boot is going to evolve into a gorgeous, and after that, this video shall be done, so yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Hope you did enjoy. And um, PAX East, Boston, you will be severely missed. Until next year, though, thank you guys so much. Hope you did enjoy. And I'll talk to you all later. Peace.